Tommy and Freddie. All right. Fred Stanfield is, uh, Freddie plays out of uh, California Billiards in Fremont. And uh, Tommy Soria, up until I think recently, plays out of Hard Times in Sacramento. Um, and Tommy Soria actually, he won this tournament. Wow. Uh, two years ago. Or was it uh, last year? I can't remember, but. Uh, That's a feat. Yeah. Yeah, Tommy's, they call him Tommy Too Good. Do you, have you ever played Tommy? Do you know Tommy? Yeah. <laughs> Too Good Tommy? Yes, and believe me, he lives, he lives up to that na name. <laughs> yeah, I know. I said, uh, hi, Tommy. He goes, no, too, too good, too good. I'm like, <laughs> oh, my gosh, really? Like, that's just what I should call you, not, like, just every day? <laughs> like, just casually? Tommy's uh, out of Stockton. Oh, okay, so you know more than I do. Yeah, I, I used to play Tommy, and we used to run Clash when we used to um, play Modesto and Manteca and all those areas around there. <coughs> the little bar tournaments, and he was always there knocking me out in the finals. Oh, really? <laughs> or, or just before the finals. Dude, he's a strong player. Yeah, he's very good. I mean, if you beat Tommy in, in the tournament... Even if it was a race to one, it was a. You were very happy. <laughs> so Freddie's going to be breaking first. Yeah. Race to six. So you lost your uh, your. Was it your first or your second match? Second match. Okay. That's all right, man. Yeah. You know, you're, you're I'm having take fun. Take the scenic route. I like hanging out in the booth. Yeah. You're welcome to. You know. Thank you. I do appreciate it. Oh, pretty tough first shot for Tommy. Just misses it. Left Freddie long on the rail. Coming back on this two ball is real tough. Make that one ball is no easy shot. And to get back on the two, good luck. That is going to be tough. Woo! Oh, that was a smart shot. He's, he just settled for what the table gives him. Gave him, I should say. Jacked up a little bit to make it. Mm -hmm. Bart Mahoney just texted me. He says, I've got a cold, buddy, but I'm more sick missing all of these people. <laughs> I know the feeling, man. I hope you're... Uh, I hope you do. I uh, hope you, you know, recover quickly from your cold. What a smart shot. He, he, Freddie just knocked that two ball right into the pack, sent the cue ball all the way up table. Tommy's got a sliver of that uh, two ball. He'll try to save him back. Uh, he gave him a little bit of a shot. I think we're going to see a little bit of a safety battle here for a little while. Freddie gave... Uh, Tommy a little bit of a window, he can shoot out. Wow, what a shot. That's tracking right to the corner. Too much stroke. Tommy's like uh, a little bit like Robert Aldana, very straight, strong stroke. So Mr. Stanfield is going to take ball in hand on the three ball.
You know, one, one thing that I do like about these two players that we're watching, they're very smart players. They, they take their time and they really want to shoot the right shot. Good, good position on that four ball. I'm surprised he didn't bring this, uh, you know, that young gun with him, the new, the new young player that Fred's been working with. Mm -hmm. What's his name? I was just talking about him too, because Ro Frank Robots gave him a cue, right? To you know, to learn with and play, play pool with. That was a good shot. Looks like the seven ball's a little bit off the rail. He might try to like push the five ball into the rail and play a combo off the seven. I don't think that's safe. I think he should just soft stroke this and hook him behind the eight. Oh, that, that was a better shot. Or the nine. There you go. He. he when he plays safe, he, he leaves a lot of distance. It's really good for uh, a lot of the younger players out there. Tommy's going to have play. to, yeah. What a nice kick. Tommy had to draw off the rail to kind of curve that ball. These Tom balls still lay tough. Tommy don't waste much time. <laughs> You know, a slow, drawn-out match like this, this, Tommy does not like that. He wants quick. That seven ball's in a rough spot. Assuming he gets to it. <coughs> There's a lot of ways to play this shot. You can cut it, can play safe. Looks like he's gonna cut it. Ooh. Missed it on the pro side. That was the safety. These guys uh, both have a lot of respect for each other's game, you can tell. Yeah, they know each other. Somebody say my name or somebody just say push? <laughs> I wasn't sure. I said I think push. Somebody or said Daniel Bush. Oh, wow. Look at that kick. With nice speed control. Ooh, it might have gone too far. That was a great attempt. Look at this, he's gonna try to break him out. Wow. Gee whiz, what a good shot that was. That is like a world class shot. Like what you you didn't think you were gonna see some good pool? Oh no, I, I knew we were gonna see some good pool. <laughs> that was a fantastic shot. He hit that ball really good. Tommy, Tommy, when he plays good, it's a little scary. Yep. You know, Tommy, he seems like each year he gets a little older, he gets a little better. <laughs> it's it's scary. Every time I see him, he's a little better. You think so? I do. I do with him. Yes, I do. He's he's a rare breed. I mean, most most people that you know with time, father time, their game goes down a little bit. Not with him. His stroke gets a little straighter. 
his his knowledge of the game just keeps getting better and better. His safety plays and just his game is just better and better. He probably puts more work into the you know he puts his time in. You know. well, he's very serious about bull. That's just the first game. <clears throat> we'll see what happens. Yeah, we got, uh, you know, it's, it's a short race, but we got a long way to go in this race. open. That was a good hit. Fat Boy just said that Tommy used to give him the seven and he was still stealing. <laughs> Don't feel bad, Fat Boy. <laughs> but he said he used to know how to rattle him. If he couldn't rattle him, then he couldn't win. I wonder what the, tr I wonder what the secret is. Rattling Tommy Soria. Ooh, oh, that was a little uh, unfortunate. <coughs> well, Tommy, uh, he's got a nice little layout here if you take advantage of it. It's funny the way he p does his practice strokes. You never know when he's gonna hit it. Um, you never know when he's gonna pull the trigger. <laughs> Fat boy said, uh, "Just call a foul when it's not a foul, and then you'll rattle him." <laughs> said that uh, Tommy would lose his mind if you ever did that to him. That's mean. <coughs> well, it's 2-0 now. That's pretty quick. Thirteen minutes in. Oh, boy. I think Freddie just needs a couple good starter shots to get going. Yeah, he needs to get a rhythm. But you got to be careful, you know, like uh, when you especially when you're down games and you're playing someone like Tommy, you know, it's important to bear down as well, not just sh just, you know, yeah. well, you know, not just get down and shoot, you know. Well, let's just see what happens. I, you know, pull goes back and forth so many times. You got a leader and tie and it switch does. leaders. And it does. This is very early in the match. But, you know, you got to give Tommy credit. He is playing really nice. I've seen players like Tommy, you know, play very well and then miss an easy shot. Mm -hmm. And like, like that? this, <laughs> right? <laughs> like that. And then just completely like lose it afterwards because they're like, you know, w wait a minute, you know, they still haven't recovered from that one miss they made. And notice that like this is bad though because you got a, you got a good roll too. You know? Yeah, these I, the I strong did. players they oh. demand so much of themselves. Fred's maybe cutting this in. What a beautiful shot. Oh. Uh -uh. He needed that to go in. You know, the only thing I see Tommy do occasionally, he'll, he'll overstroke a ball or draw it a little bit too much. Mm -hmm. That's the only time I see him make an error. 
he's not going to come up short ever. <laughs> he's gonna Besides the three ball he missed earlier. Yeah. I mean, you know. Yeah, he's human. I mean, we yeah. all miss balls. I'm not going to criticize anybody for missing a ball. Especially when I miss balls all day long myself. He uses the bridge very well. I must say. And he, Tommy is putting a performance on. Has killed that cue ball. Perfect. Race to six. I think that's kind of a small, a short race. Too short. Well, it's moving quick. I'm always rooting it's for it's the underdog. It's moving very <laughs> fast. I want to see um, Freddie get a couple starter shots and start to perform. I want to see a back and forth battle. break straight in on the side pocket he's just gonna stop his cue ball for the two ball uh oh that's the second easy straight in shot he's missed that is uh a little odd didn't take his time Well, this is just what Freddie needed, uh, you know, a little bit of a starter shot. Unfortunately, it's with a bridge, but he's a very good player with a bridge. <coughs> good shot. That was a good little shot. Should be able to cut this back into the side pocket. Maintain position on the floor. Oh, he's going to the corner. Fred's not going to give up easy. Oh, no. There's no give up in Fred. He'll get his opportunities. He's going to be kicking at this. Ooh, nice kick. He almost made it and got position. Wow, that, that would have been the perfect shot for him to get going. He did not miss that by very much. <coughs> Tommy's starting to... Oh, he's going to slop this one in. Oh, my goodness. That's so brutal. Your opponent's playing so good and then he misses and makes it. <laughs> That's so brutal.
Hmm, let's see what the... Uh, gonna play safe? Yep. It's gonna be long. Back to the safety game we go. Hmm, Fred is looking at the nine ball combo. I'm pretty sure he'll uh, play a cue ball speed also. Might just play safe. <coughs> oh, what a good safe. I got a feeling uh, Tommy's going to return to safety here. Just crash that five into the six. Let's put the cue ball back up top. Oh no. Try to get behind the nine. Uh, I don't know about that safety. This is either a, uh, do I want to play safe, or do I want to try to combo it in? I think it, when the match is really, really tight, most players will play safe. Looks like Freddy's lining up the combo. This is a tough shot. Oh, he nailed it. But his uh, position has been compromised. Well, this is where I see the pros. They kick this, and then they get the cue ball right underneath that seven ball. And he almost got, I think he got behind the nine. Oh, he left him real tough. Freddie finally got a roll. This is a small ball to hit. Pretty got ball in hand. Got good shape on the seven. A little bit on the rail. You gotta just take your time. Jeez, that was his opportunity to get back in the match. Nice start. Tommy, Tommy got a gift there. Yet four. That was a little bit rough. You're going to have to shake it off. Easier said than done. You know, maybe Tommy's playing with all that confidence from, uh, hey, I've been here, I've done that, I've won this tournament before. Well, he's comfortable. You know, you know that's, that's a big factor in playing any pool tournament is, I mean, I used to go, okay, so I played like USPPA, and I played at Sherman Oaks House of Billiards. I was so comfortable there. I played so much pool there over the years. I, I would win that tournament, like maybe once a month out of like you know I'd go every Monday I wanted like once a month wow you know? 
or come in second or in the finals or something. You would do very well. Yeah, and it was because I was so comfortable there and confident, you know. I didn't care who I played, and, you know. They would raise up my rating as well, and I'd still play well with it. It's, you know, being comfortable where you're playing, and being used to the tables, is a huge factor. Oh, we try to mass say that. That's ball in hand. Yeah. But also, that also that's why I uh, I recommend you know if you really if you really love this game, you're trying to get good at it. <laughs> it's your turn to cough. If you really love the game and you're getting right. good, you want to get good, you want to get better. Play on different tables. Play right. different opponents. Play on different tables. Play in different rooms. And when you lose at those different rooms, don't don't beat yourself up on it for it. It's because <coughs> there's something about that table you, you're not used to. You right. Know? And it's all part of like uh, seasoning, you know. Exactly. Well, um, Freddie's going to get this one. Well, good for, good for him, man. It's, uh, you know. Better late than never. Gives a, yeah, it gives us a chance to see some good pool. He, he's, he's not down that bad. No. Good shot on the nine. <laughs> Those nine balls get tough when you're down by yeah, so many games. Yeah. You know, when you're when you're down by so many games, you just gotta say, "Let me win this one." Yeah. And then and then when you win that one, let me win this one. You just take it one game at a time. Bill Belichick <laughs> style. <laughs> If you start thinking I'm I'm way behind, that puts too much pressure on yourself. Mm -hmm. Well, good break. No balls on the break, but uh, looks like a push out is coming. Oh no, he made it. Oh, that's what I thought. He didn't make a ball on the break. Freddie tricked me. <laughs> he looked like he was going to shoot again. <laughs> Wow, Tommy hit that, double kissed it, and still didn't go in. I don't know what held that ball up. kind of tough. I don't think the two's available here. Mm -mm. Uh, I, I would not recommend playing the combo. Oh, the 2-3 no. the combo. Might have to try a, a safety. I mean, you can try to play the 9 here too, but I wouldn't recommend that either. Freddie will find a safe. I think he'll be okay. Yeah, he's, he's uh, creeped out a little bit. Uh, nah, he got him hooked. Or, or at least uh, half hooked. You know, even if he, uh, no, he, he's kicking at it. And he hit it dead square. Tommy just smacked it and said, I hope it goes in. <laughs> I think that's uh, what you got to do to beat Tommy. You got to get him kicking and watching, you know, put him in his chair. It's a nice little uh, combination. Left the two ball over the hole. Ooh, I like that try. Play position on the three and kind of bump the nine. If it goes in, hey, rack right, him up. Right. Freddie looks like he's getting more relaxed now. He's 
finally gotten a, a few chances. Well, good. He gets to open up his arm, you know. He gets to... Hey, you know what? You can't do much when your opponent's running out on you. No, you can't. You know, I <laughs> Freddie should be good from here, I think. He's just going to bear down a little bit. Don't take anything for granted here. You know, just... But keep it simple. Win the game. It's a yeah. good shot. Freddie's yeah. a very good player. This might be tough, though, right here. He's favored to make this. Well, well yeah, make it, but uh, shape. You know, you got to watch out. You don't roll too far down. You, you, you hit it slow like that, you can undercut it, you know, or yeah, overcut it. table roll. Yeah. Finessing balls. Freddie, leg up in the air. <laughs> He's got good balance. Oh, yeah. That was a good shot. Good shot, Freddie. And a good shot. Perfect position. On the there line. we go. Now we got ourselves a little match brewing here. No, I'm kind of happy right. for that. It's percolating. I'm happy for the underdog. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever's uh, losing, I always root for them a little bit. Good out, Mr. Freddy. Hey, we also want to give a shout out to Michael Murphy, who's uh, wa he's actually in the <laughs> chat room right now. He says, if anybody has ever had breakfast at the Jointed Q, you'll understand the reason why we open at 8 a.m. It's a freeding frenzy here daily. Don't believe me? Find out for yourself. See you at 8 o'clock. Every morning, 8 a.m., the Jointed Q. Come on in for breakfast and pool. I got to give a shout-out to Tiger Products. I was shooting with a Tiger glove, and I, I, I think I lost it, and I'm like, can't um, shoot with that one anymore. I need a Tiger product. You pro need your drugs, <laughs> huh? I need my Tiger uh, glove. glove. <laughs> <laughs> also, um, Also, you know, we want to thank Mike Murphy, Michael, for uh, for adding an additional five hundred dollars to the prize fund. Wow! Uh, you know, so this this was a one thousand dollar added tournament, but now today it's a fifteen hundred dollar added tournament, and there's no green fees, no tournament director fees. Every everything is everything that's put in is paid out. That's really nice for the players. Well, Tommy's got a, a decent little layout. Tough on the four to get position. Oh, man. Oh, you can see it. So from where I'm at, it's like an optical illusion. I thought he was behind the seven. He's in there. Uh-oh. What's happening? Oh, off the point. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I'm going to have to say, uh, uh, Freddie forgot to mark his bead. I believe he's... It's 3-2. Is it... Wait a minute. No, it's... Is it 4-2, four four two, two, I four believe. 4-2? Two? Oh, I didn't mark one of Tommy's games. I believe it's 4-2. <clears throat> wow, it always looks like Tommy's playing the <laughs> pro side of the pocket there or something. He's really focused today. Well, he, he is exactly the way he was when he came and won this thing a couple years ago. You know, I watched some of that on the stream, and it seems like he's more relaxed today. So that would put him at 5-2. to two. I believe so. Did Fred? Fred got two. <coughs> oh, no. Did, did Fred think he had... F See, because I counted three for Tommy. Did Fred think he had the three? And he marked himself as no, four? No, he just, he just didn't mark his had bead. You, s you saw that for sure? Oh, I remember when it was uh, four, to, four to two. Fred won two, and you said, now we got a match. Yeah, but that's because I thought it was going to be three, two. I miss. I didn't count one of Tommy's games. Oh, okay. From so I. Chat room. <laughs> <laughs> chat, chat room. Chat room. Help. Anytime we have a problem. Chat room. 
I want to say hi to all the chats out there. Streamland. The grasshopper likes you guys. Give us a thumbs up if you uh, if you want to uh, get more grasshopper in your life. Or thumbs down if you don't. <laughs> we're we're, we're sixty three to zero right now, so pool pool is winning. Good. I'm having such a good time out here. I mean, it's it's a lot of fun. It's 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 kind of like low key a little bit. Like I don't know. It's just everybody's kind of friendly and mellow. Yeah. I mean, they're trying to play their best, but it's not aggressive. It's kind of a nice atmosphere. Let's hope it stays that way and there's no problem with the scoring in this match. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm suspecting there might be a little bit of a, a debate about this score. I didn't think Tommy had four games. Oh, you thought he had three? I thought he had three. And then after Fred won that game, I thought it was 3-2. Fred went, see, and this is what you said, that nobody moved a bead. Is that correct? I think Freddie did not move his second win. You did not see him move a bead, period? I don't think so. Because what I suspect is that maybe Freddie inadvertently moved Tommy's side. Oh, I hope that didn't. To happen. four, thinking that he was Tommy's side. Oh no, I hope that didn't happen. Thinking that he was ahead four to two, or four to one, three to one, something like that. Oh jeez, I hate when stuff like that happens. Well, we'll see what beat he moves if he wins this this game. Well, he's gonna he's gonna move the white beads. See, Mo thinks it's four to three. Uh-oh, it came up really you, sharp. You, sharp. You see what I'm saying? Like, this could be... So if... Wow, what okay. a shot. All right, he's going to make this. So, what like, let's see what happens now. Oh, man, I hope they get the score right. I hope so, too. Okay, we're all good. 5-2. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's 5-3. But see, that's... Oh, yeah. So that means he did forget to move his beat on that side. It is 5-3. It is 5-3. Tommy... Tommy just got rattled. <laughs> he, uh -oh. just got, he just got rattled by the beads. <laughs> no, don't say that. Watch, Ra Tommy's going to say something to him now. He has won three games, right? I, that's my best recollection. I'm not going to swear by it. I just recall <clears throat> it was four to one. <laughs> Freddie won, and you said something like, we got a match now. And it was going to be four to two. No, no, no. It was three to one. It was three to one. You Freddie won a game. It was three two. Then <laughs> Tommy won a game. It was four two. I'm gonna start keeping score for you when I come in the booth. <laughs> Dude, it's easy to miss. It's easy. It to is. It sure is. It's been a good match. Especially when a player forgets to move his beats. That's when it gets confusing. It's a little unnerving when you see your opponent move two beats at once. Yup. Even if they're right. Yup. It's 5-3. And I have to change the scoreboard on the, on the TV <laughs> now. <laughs> oh, man. That nine ball's right in the hole. 
That's it. Oh, that does it. I was just starting to get, you know, enjoy this and match. You were just starting to get enjoy. Yeah, because, you know, Freddie was confusion. making a great comeback. And <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't want it to end. I wanted to keep watching. No, I was enjoying Freddie, you know. I mean, yeah, instant replay. I don't think so. We're just going to move on, guys. 104 <laughs> players here. You think I'm just going to stick around and fix every little mistake? No. Yeah, I, I, I don't think it... Uh, <laughs> I think Tommy really did get sick, so. Yeah, it did. That that that, that much did happen. Yeah. So, all right. Um, yeah, we're going to come back. Okay, so check this out. Let me see. We're, we're going to go down memory lane here. Memory lane. Got more pictures from Terry Stoner's scrapbook. It's kind of cool. Baltimore Bullet. Hold on. Let me, let me make it live. It's a little blurry, but uh, anyways. Yeah, Baltimore Bullet. Real-life pool champ from Towson has a bit part in the film. So I guess maybe that was... Uh, maybe it was Terry. Terry got the bit part. Mm. I have to go back and look, actually read that that article. I wonder if we can... Can you guys read any of that? Because we can't from the screen that we're looking at. Yeah, I can't read that either. Too blurry. Okay, let's move on. Okay, this is a little nine ball. Uh, Richie Florence memory from uh, Terry Stoner's scrapbook. Richie Florence, Redondo Beach. A few years ago, he ran 125 consecutive balls in the state straight pool championship at Sacramento. Toppled Reno's Cole Dixon. Ooh. 11 games to 6 to advance in the 5,000 added California 9 ball pocket billiards championship at the jointed queue. <laughs> Florence also will see action tonight meeting James Christopher of San Antonio, Texas 10 o'clock at 8.45. Uh, the famed Luther Lasseter of New York will take on Fairfield Billiards Parlor owner Frank Lively following the following are yesterday's results. Isn't that great? That is cool. I don't know what year that is, but that's got it's gotta be like seventy nine or seventy no, maybe even earlier, like seventy two. That's way back. Alright, here's one. This is a little photo of George Middleditch. Did you have you ever heard of George Middleditch? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Never heard of this guy. But look, I mean, he looks like he was something back in the day, doesn't he? <laughs> got an autographed picture and everything. I guess he does instruction or something because he's got his his phone number there. <laughs> right? Oh, did I just switch it over? I was hoping that was George Michaels when he was young. <laughs> George, maybe it is. Maybe it is George Michaels. <laughs> yeah. George Middleditch. All right. Terry Stoner's scrapbook. So here's another one that I... I I don't really know what this is. I think this is just like a rough draft for a sports page. But there are two of these. And maybe, you know, if you guys in the chat room have any feedback about any of these people. or any, I mean, George Middleditch, to me, looks like Tom Selleck. Well, you know. <laughs> Ray Felipe, master of the Q-Stick, has been running tables since 1929. Wow. And it's all part of Terry Stoner's uh, little scrapbook. So here's another one. Jesse Padilla. Did you know who he was? No. Neither did I. He's a hard man to beat at pool, snooker, or billiards. Looks like a football player. Okay. Oh, my goodness. We got another match. Let's go. All right. We'll, we'll return to more of these scrapbook photos from Terry Stoner's personal archive.